What's up gangsters? Welcome to your 15th tutorial against me Travis with my bring back. What we're going to do today is set up that, uh, just basically finish our application and set up the on check changed method and what we want to do with it. Again, um, because we're using the radio buttons in the radio group, we imported or implemented this on check change listener and because we implemented that we had to use this method called on check change. And basically what's going to happen anytime we press any one of those radio buttons it's going to call this method and it's going to return some data for us that's kind of what these uh, these uh, parameters are it's going to give us what grade radio group it comes from and it's also going to give us the ID of the button again we set that up in in uh, XML uh, by saying Android ID equals at plus ID again that's just kind of the reference points and so it's going to give us kind of some data to work with and then what it's going to call this method so whatever we set up in this method is what it's going to do every time any one of those radio buttons are changed so first what we want to do is we want to work with this checked ID again this is the ID of the button um, so and we're going to set up a switching case and I'll kind of explain that as we go but I want you guys to type out switch and within its parameters we're going to say checked um, whoops, checked ID. And again, this will give us the ID that's being passed in because the radio group or radio button has been changed. So that's kind of what's going on. And it's going to give us, like I said, uh, the ID of that button. So when you use a switching case, basically what you're doing is you're setting up um, something for it to look for. And then if that happens to be the case, you can do something else. Um, it's kind of confusing, but you'll kind of see what's going on here. Um, so we're going to set up our first case, first three cases, and we're going to say case I, r dot id dot. Uh, let's go with left radio button left. If again, it's going to check for the id. If the id happens to be this case, and you hit colon, not semicolon, colon, um, it's going to do what's ever within within this so again you have to type break because well, I'll explain that after we set up a few more cases but if it happens to be the left radio button um, that was clicked or the reference of left we wanted to set basically the gravity of the the text um, text out to the left side and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna say text out and then dot and again we can use some of the text view methods and um, such like that and we're going to just say set gravity and what we're going to set the gravity to well we're going to pull something from the gravity class so you type out gravity dot and then just left so now it's going to set this text out um, the gravity of it to the left if the left radio button was pushed uh, radio, yeah radio button and again it's going to check the ID um, so now we're going to set up another case again within these brackets of the switch here. So we're just going to say case ID R, I'm sorry, R ID dot uh, radio button center. And we're just going to, you know, again, colon and text out dot set text or set gravity. And um, we're going to say again from the gravity class we want to pull the method uh, center and then just finish that off and we're just going to break it and we're going to set up one last one for if the right one was pushed so just going to copy and paste and change it to right because that's what we label it as and we're also going to change this to right I'm just gonna kind of run this here or at least let it load while we work on the other group and basically we, so what we did is we set up let's see here if I go into it we set up if any of these buttons have been pressed it's gonna call that method and it's gonna look for the ID of what actual button it was pressed and then if and then it's going to run that little method that we set up and that's going to change this text out which we identified either to be the left gravity center or right 
So there we go. All we have to do now is set up these buttons as well. And as you can see, we did use the ID, checked ID right here, but we haven't actually used anything from the group. And we won't actually need to. Um, we could if we want to, but we aren't actually going to reference this at all. So it's going to be just kind of useless, but we still need to, um, you know, kind of follow along with the guidelines there. And here we go. The emulator has been started. Just kind of want to show you what we did. So again, we can type whatever we want and then press this generate button and it generates it. Now we activated these buttons. So when we press the left one, uh, all right. Sorry, I had to pause the video and kind of figure out what was going on. And simple mistake, my bad. Basically, as you can see here with this button, we had to set it on click listener, set on click listener for our button. But we also have to do that with um, with our radio groups. So what we need to do now is since we set up these radio groups, we're going to kind of define them to do something. So we're going to say gravity. And sorry, I'm kind of wasn't very organized with that. But we're going to say gravity uh, g dot set on checked change listener kind of a tongue twister and instead we're gonna put this because this when we say this in this case oh excuse me just drank too much Dr. Pepper there uh, this when we say this it's gonna look for whatever we're implementing um, basically it's refer to our class and the method that it's referring to so it's gonna refer up here which is gonna send us down uh, down here so basically this is just like when we set up our our actual button we say set on click listener and we said new view but instead of doing all this we're implementing it and kinda of having it set up like this so we're gonna say this and there we go we have that set up we also want to set up the style so we're gonna just do that now and we're gonna say style g equals um, oops I'm sorry dot set on click or on check change listener and again this so that's why it wasn't working hopefully that should solve the problem there we're gonna save it and run it real quick again and now okay now now we can use this on check change listener because before it wasn't setting one um, so there we go we're gonna ch test it out here again I'm just gonna type like Travis and generate and then center right and left so we kind of got got these radio buttons um, working again, and that was pretty embarrassing right there what just happened. But uh, now all we have to do is set up the italic, normal, and bold. So again, we're going to do that with this set case. Um, again, it's just going to be of the same switch statement, but we're also going to just check for those IDs as well. So we're going to say r dot id dot. Um, we're just going to set it up as. Uh, what am I looking for? RB normal and break. And what, what we do in here is going to be a little bit different, not too much different, but uh, it's going to be a little bit more complex. And so we're just going to say text out dot set typeface, uh, which is, you know, it's a little bit different, but it's fine. We're going to use the second one right here. And we're in for the as you can see it takes in let's see here Phil tell us takes in a typeface and an int so for a typeface we're, we're gonna say typeface again we're just pulling this from the typeface class and hit dot normal and then for our style um, oops I'm sorry not okay let me redo that as well we're going to say set typeface. We're going to say typeface dot default from style. And then within the style parameter, we're going to say typeface dot uh, normal. And then just for the style over here, we're just going to say typeface, again, referring to the typeface class and what we can pull from it. We're going to say normal right here as well. So there we go, we kind of set up what we want our text out to do, and it's given us an error, so I don't know if I did it wrong. Oh, 
yeah man this is the worst probably tutorial in the history of tutorials because I didn't put it within our switch so we're gonna say um, put it within the switch bracket there and there we go now we set up our normal button and we're gonna set up those other ones so I'm just gonna copy and paste and kinda change the things around we're gonna say italic and uh, for this one as well we're just gonna change that to be uh, italic and this to be italic as well and then we just have to set this one up as bold sorry guys man this was just a terrible tutorial I don't know what's going on so yeah we're just gonna again bold all uppercase and uh, dot bold all uppercase so there we go we probably we should have our application completely done and hopefully it'll be awesome unlike this tutorial but hopefully you guys kinda get what's going on again I put I'll put this source code under the source section in the tutorials on my bring back so you guys can double check it since I was kinda going all over the place and it was probably hard to follow along but I really didn't feel like redoing the whole tutorial um, but uh, hopefully you guys don't mind too much with that but yeah again we're just setting the typeface it's a little bit different than just saying set gravity and then pulling from the gravity class right uh, we have to do this typeface default from style and then pass in typeface normal and typeface normal for, this, for the style int as well so let's just double check our application and I'm just gonna put uh, Travis and uh, generate and then right center left that works normal italic and bold and there we go um, it's I mean yeah yeah our application is sweet it's gonna be all sorts of you know do all sorts of useful things for you guys but hopefully you guys kinda get the basic concepts that I was kinda trying to teach even though it was terrible but uh, yeah I'll guys I'll catch you in the next tutorial where we'll start on our next little application but uh, thanks again for watching, subscribing, giving thumbs up, and just check out the website as well if you guys are interested. There's a form there, and you can double check your source code, all that good stuff. So thanks again. Peace, guys.